Hello, Caleb here from the Pieces Engineering team. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the custom URL feature, which is available in the VS Code extension. Now, to start off this video, I'm going to go ahead and, and explain a little bit on uh, how and when exactly the custom URL feature should be used. Um, and really, in general, the purpose of the feature is to solve the issue where you're using VS Code in some sort of remote development environment such as an SSH connection or a GitHub code space. Uh, and that environment needs some way to reach Pieces OS, uh, which is running on your own local device. Um, with that said, normal development environments uh, in VS Code don't, that don't use a remote connection feature um, don't require the use of this feature. Uh, and another thing is a common misconception about the custom URL feature in VS Code is that that is a place for you to put your pieces cloud custom URL. Um, this is this is not the case. Uh, putting your pieces custom cloud URL is actually going to uh, cause a lot of issues in the VS Code extension and basically uh, make it not function properly. Um, for the case that you're using either a WSL remote connection on your Windows machine or if you're using some sort of dev container, um, there shouldn't be any requirement to utilize this feature as the extension is set up to handle these cases without any extra configuration required. Um, if you are having connection issues in WSL or dev containers, the problem is likely that there's some firewall which is blocking requests to your machine on your local area network or your LAN. Um, so if that's the case, please refer to the documentation on this feature. Uh, I'll drop a link in the description and you'll see how a guide on how to resolve this problem. All right, guys, so the first thing that we're gonna be showing with this feature is basically how to connect to a piece of OS instance from VS Code, which is running on your same LAN. Um, now, this is gonna encompass most of the cases that I've seen from talking with users. So uh, for most of you guys watching, this is gonna be uh, basically what you need to do. Um, so yeah, just jumping right into it. Uh, I for demonstration purposes, what we're going to do is we are going to uh, connect to a Pieces OS instance, which is running on my Mac device um, from a Windows 11 virtual machine. Um, so yeah, I have these two uh, virtualized machines, which are uh, running on the same local area network. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to demonstrate um, how you can uh, set this up uh, yourself at home. So you see I have VS Code running here in my Windows 11 uh, virtual machine. Uh, if I hit like refresh materials, I'm getting error messages saying that I can't connect to Pieces OS. So what I'm going to do is first what I need to do is I need to retrieve my LAN IP address. Um, first, I have this uh, snippet saved here. So this is how you can get a LAN IP address um, on a Unix machine, uh, which would include Mac OS and, um, and Linux. Uh, if you're on Windows, it'll be slightly different, but if you just look up, you know, how do I get my LAN IP address, uh, it should be super, super simple. Um, even like a chat GBT would be nice. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to copy this little snippet that I have, and I'm just going to paste it into my terminal. Um, and then you can see I've already ran this earlier. Um, so yeah, so this is my LAN IP address, and I'm going to go ahead and copy this LAN IP and I'm going to go back into my Windows 11 virtual machine. Now, optionally, what you can do here um, is you can set up what's called a DHCP uh, static IP reservation. Uh, now, what this is going to do is it's basically going to uh, reserve an IP address uh, for your machine on your own local area network. Um, so this way, uh, similar to the static ng-rock URL, which we'll get into later on in this video. Um, this way, you won't have to go and you won't have to re-perform these steps um, to set up the connection once again, because your 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 machine's LAN IP address will change, or will most likely change, unless you do set up some sort of static DHCP reservation. Um, and I will add, uh, you do need so you do need uh, network administrator permissions in order to do something like that. Uh, you do need to log into your router. It's going to be different um, versus uh, what what network that you have. Um, and I'm not personally a network administrator, so I cannot demonstrate that um, in this video. 
Um, but yeah, it's definitely something to look into. It'll, it'll, it'll make your life easier, uh, using this feature basically. Um, if you have the opportunity to do something like that. So yeah, I have my, I have my custom URL copied and I'm going to go into my VS code settings. I just hit control comma to open it. It's command comma on Mac OS. And in order to get to extension settings, I'm going to do at ext and then mesh intelligent technologies. And I can go ahead and auto complete that. And we're going to go ahead and look up custom. We can go into workspace. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do HTTP uh, colon slash slash. And I'm going to paste in my custom URL. And for this case, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using port 1000. Um, if you're on uh, Windows or Mac OS, you should be using port 1000 as it's the port that uh, Pieces OS is running on. However, if you're on Linux, you should be using 5323. Once again, that's 5323 on Linux. Uh, for now, I'm going to be using port 1000 because that is the port that Pieces OS is running on. And so, yeah, and now once I've done this, I can go ahead and reload my VS Code window. Um, what I'm going to do is I can do that from Command Palette. I just did, I opened that by doing Control Shift P on, uh, on Mac OS. It'd be Command Shift P. But you can see, just look up Reload Window, and that first one there is the one that we want. And that's going to go ahead and reload my piece or my VS Code window. And then now, as you can see, uh, earlier I was having uh, connection issues to Pieces OS, but now all of my saved materials have shown up. And yeah, it's that's uh, that's how you connect to a Pieces OS instance, which is running on the same local area network. Um, from your VS Code. Uh, so yeah, hopefully this helps and we'll go ahead and get on to the next part of the video. Now that we've shown the case of how to connect to a machine that is running Pieces OS on your local area network, uh, now we can demonstrate uh, how you might connect to a machine that is not running on the same network as the, as the machine that Pieces OS is running on. Um, in order to do this, we're going to need to use some sort of port forwarding tool. Um, uh, for this case, I'm going to be using ng-rock. Um, I'll leave a description on how to download and install ng-rock on your own machine. Um, it's actually a pretty simple setup. Uh, it's really not too difficult to, to do this. Um, but it, it, for this step, it must be noted that um, performing this kind of port forwarding operation is going to essentially expose uh, your pieces OS endpoints and as such your pieces OS data to the open internet. So it's strongly advised to use this kind of strategy as only a last resort, only if you absolutely must um, in order to get the VS Code extension working. And once again, I'll reiterate, if pieces OS and VS Code are running on the same Wi-Fi network or the same LAN, uh, it's very, very strongly preferred to use a LAN IP address instead of using something like ng-rock, uh, as that will that will stop uh, the case of uh, you know exposing too much data to the open internet. So yeah, I'll go ahead and get started uh, and show you guys how you can do this yourself at home. Uh, and the first thing that you'll need is you will need a some sort of cloud server that you're able to connect to. Um, and I have this cloud server, uh, and I'm just going to use the VS Code Remote Connect uh, extension in order to connect to it. And as you can see, I have this Hello World project open. Um, and if I go back over here, and I say I click Refresh, you can see that Pieces is having a hard time getting connection to Pieces OS. So, the way that you can resolve this, as I mentioned, is by using ng-rock, which I already have installed on my machine. And uh, one step that you can take before doing this is basically set up an ng-rock static URL. Now, what this is, is it allows you to have the same, uh, the same URL each time that you are using uh, ng-rock. And what this is going to allow you to do is, is each time that you do have to go through this process and start up VS Code, uh, you will need to re-enter the URL. However, if you're using a static URL, uh, you'll have the same URL every time and you won't have to go into the extension settings to modify it. Um, 
so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start up NG Rock. And the way that you do that is just by executing NG Rock and you do HTTP 1000. So basically what this is doing is it's setting up an HTTP connection uh, forwarding my port 1000. Now the reason I'm using port 1000 in this case is because Pieces OS is running on port 1000 on my Mac machine. Uh, for Mac OS and Windows, the port that you want to enter is 1000. For Linux, however, the port that Pieces OS runs on is actually 5323. Uh, so that's 5323. So if you're using a Linux machine and you're trying to forward your port uh, for Pieces OS on a Linux machine, you would enter 5323 here. But since I'm on a Mac, I can enter 1000. Now, once I hit enter, uh, you can see uh, it went ahead and it set up a ng-rock connection. It's forwarding localhost 1000 to this URL here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this URL. And now I'm going to go into the extension settings of uh, VS Code. So I just open that by hitting command comma or it would be control comma on, on Windows. And I recommend uh, using a workspace setting for this for this case as uh, using a workspace setting is going to set this URL for this specific workspace. Um, so that way, if I am doing some sort of local development, um, the custom URL that I set here is not going to be present elsewhere uh, in other projects that I open in VS Code. Now, if you if you're somebody who only really uses VS Code in a remote development, you could use uh, like a user session here. Um, but for this case, you could use, for me, I could use either Workspace or Remote SSH, probably Remote SSH for this case. Um, and I'm just gonna type in this string here. So at ext and then Mesh Intelligent Technologies and you should be able to auto-complete this. Uh, and then you can do custom, look up custom. And then you have this pieces custom URL uh, setting right here. So what I'll do is I will paste in my URL and now my URL is saved and what I'm going to go and do from here is I'm going to reload my window. So you can do this by opening up the command palette on Mac OS. It's command shift P on Windows. It'll be control shift P and then I'm just going to search up reload window and it should be the first one that comes up. You see this developer reload window thing. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And it went ahead and it reloaded uh, VS Code for me. And pretty soon here, you should see my save materials showing up in this view right here. So yeah, as you can see, I'm now connecting to my own Pieces OS instance which is running on my local machine, and I'm doing so through uh, a cloud server that I have up and running. This is a, this is a guide on how you can connect to uh, Pieces OS from some sort of remote development environment in VS Code. Hopefully this video helps resolve any connectivity issues in the VS Code extension. If you have any issues or further questions, definitely reach out to us directly. And uh, I'll drop a link to the support form uh, in the description. Thank you very much, guys.